Virgo, it's Elle here to do the mid-April 2018 reading. This is going to be a quick little spread just to give you the energy going into May. I hope that all my Virgos are doing well. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Um, I'll save the announcements to the end. Still, please comment where you are viewing from. Um, I, planned on, I plan on making uh, travel arrangements uh, very soon. Just to, so I can get out here and visit some of different places. But also, maybe if I'm in a state or a town where you are, we can meet up and do a personal reading. Just do a little meet and greet, okay? So just comment below where you where you live, all right? So let's go. Um, last, well, April's reading for Virgo was about somebody letting go and just letting things in. No longer wanting to put work in on a situation. Uh, you know, I think that's, no, I, not, I think, I know that's happening now. You know, Mercury in retrograde. We got three more days and it's supposed to be gone. But then we'll have the residual energy of. Um, not even just that. This is the fourth month. So everyone is really concerned about their stability. Of course, stability has so many different aspects. Monetary stability, emotional stability, physical stability, you know, your body, your health, um, and then spiritual, you know, getting spiritually aligned with whatever you're supposed to be aligned with. So um, everyone is concerned with that. This is the fourth month. The next month will be five. That's change. It looks like, you know, a lot of signs are on their path to actually instituting the change that they need to, you know, institute or in their life. Okay, that one wanted to flip over for us, all right? Okay. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it all pans out or whatnot. Do what you need to do. And only you know that. This is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Sun, moon, or rising. Um, I really don't get into all of that. You know, listen to the reading. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, guess what? I'm okay with that too. All right. Let's go. All right. So the basis for all of this energy that will unfold is the nine of wands. What did I tell you? Somebody just done done and finish <laughs> you know both of those things are of course the same thing but um somebody is just completely done you've been through a lot here nine of wands you could could be with a fire sign or this could just be the energy that you're taking on either someone's done and in whatever situation either someone or or some entity is done with you or vice versa right your energy the queen of wands in reverse someone is not using their intuition not being creative not thinking of how they can get out of this situation uh hang on one second virgo all right virgo okay yeah so this is either you or someone you're dealing with fire sign aries sagittarius leo sun moon rising or just the energy that they're taking on. Vindictive. They can even be promiscuous. The Queen of Wands is just, you know, upright. The fire signs, you know, their affirmation is I want. And so they're all about desire and passion and want. So imagine this person in the adverse. Like they're completely, um, they're beyond I want, you know. They don't, they just do things without regard. What crosses this person? This could be you, the Ten of Swords. Yeah. You could be done with the fire sign. They're, com they're completely about self, self gratification, self everything. The Ten of Swords crosses them. Um, could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with fire in their chart. You know, you'd place the sign how you want to. Uh, presently, your energy is justice. Some of you may be trying to enact some justice for yourself. The universe may be helping you by way of things are out of balance, out of whack. Definitely with this fire sign in the in the 
reverse um some of you may be contemplating um, divorce, separation, or just trying to enact that justice. Whatever seems just and right and fair to you. Um, some of you could be just, you know, coming to a point where you're just saying, you know, I need to get back. I need balance back in my life. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Yeah, in the past was the tower. An unexpected, unforeseen event. The universe comes in, shakes things up. The energy comes out truths you know things are revealed lies are exposed people are found out things are found out and now in the present you're you just want injustice whatever that means to you all right going forward in the near future is the queen of pentacles upright nice this could be your energy virgo uh or another earth sign capricorn virgo taurus but they're in the upright which is really good uh, making solid decisions. Now, this can be in regards to work, uh, home, love life, business partnership. If you apply it where you need to. Queen of Pentacles is um, the good, the good wife, the the per, the good woman or man, vice versa, who makes really solid decisions. Is nurturing. Is caring. Um likes luxury cares about themselves and all people involved will make decisions in regards to all people involved the best decision in regards to all the people involved three of pentacles is your power it looks like you want to build somewhere else you may be having partnerships somewhere else you may be getting recognition at work See, this is the Three of Pentacles, right? But it's only two people there in this card. I'm, I'm just now realizing this. This is so crazy. Because what I'm hearing is that, okay, so Three of Pentacles is only two people. That Third Pentacle, or these two people, this could be you. If you see it, you, Virgo, and someone else. Not necessarily your partner, could be your partner, but I'm getting the sense that you want to establish something or you have already established something with someone else somewhere else. You know, it's almost as if maybe you or someone you're dealing with has established something because this is, this is actually working together. This is the love affair that can potentially move into... I'm leaving my partner. Mm. External to you is the two of wands, right? Um, maybe a fire sign needed to. They, they're at a crossroads. They know they need to make a decision. And they're actively making the decision that could, could uh, completely alter their life as it is. And that's someone external to you. Could be this fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Your hopes and fears. You definitely fear the death card and ending. What we know is all endings are new beginnings. Um, you're, you're fearing that it's over. You're fearing that it could be dealing with Scorpio. You're fearing that this is over. Or oh, some of you hoping. I'm okay, oh, some of you hoping for it to be over because. You're okay with it. You know, maybe there was a third party here somewhere. There was betrayal. There was disappointment. There was disregard. Ooh, there was unfaithfulness. There was um, feeling backstabbed. Mm. Some of you hoping for it to be over. The outcome is temperance. Some of you definitely dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, and that's Queen of Wands is Sagittarius, and they're not they they're in the reverse. So Sagittarius, or just the outcome is you finding, and these two kind of go hand in hand. Justice is your present energy, and then the outcome is temperance. You getting that balance back. You getting it back emotionally balanced, mentally balanced. Um, getting back in control. Getting back in check of yourself. Tempering your mannerisms tempering your your 
resolve. I don't know what the hell. I don't even, I don't even know where that came from. Anyway, um, temp just tempering, controlling yourself. You might have been out of control or out of whack emotionally, off kilter, out of balance with the Justice card and getting that balance back. Spirit is also helping you with temperance here. Underneath the deck is the Four of Swords. So yeah, you're taking time to engage in rest, prayer, meditation, because it looks like you need to figure this thing out. And I think some of you been you've been through a lot. This person you're dealing with maybe a fire sign. Um, they are. Um, they've taken you through a lot. Four of Swords. You might have taken a break from this fire sign. Three of Wands. They may be putting behind the partnership and worrying about self. Once you, once again, Page of Wands. They give the message that, hey, I'm done. Page of Page of Cups, messages of love, Eight of Cups, maybe toward a um, water sign, King of Swords. Somebody's cold and just calculating, worried about work with the Eight of Pentacles. Nice. Um, Virgo, this is a love situation. It looks like it's like on its last leg for some of you. Because um, somebody, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, just can't get it right. You know, I, I feel your energy is, especially my, my women, Virgo, like you're you're coming in good. You know, and not, I don't want to say good. You know, no, no one person is good. You know, but you're coming in... Um, You're coming in upright, first of all, with the Queen of Pentacles upright. You're coming in as the person that has just tried and, and is okay with it being done. They will, you know, I, I didn't even see the Five of Cups. I think you've already grieved the loss of. You've already gone through the emotional and the mental loss of um, temperance popped out again. Some of you definitely dealing with Sagittarius. You've grieved the loss of this relationship. So it's like, it is what it is. You know, this person can't get in control of themselves. This fire sign, and you're like, okay, whatever. So, cards, can you tell Virgo what they should be focused on currently in their current energy? What should Virgo be focused on currently? Three cards. Three cards for Virgo. What's the energy for Virgo? Thank you, thank you, thank you for the messages. High messages for Virgo. Messages of love and light. Messages of guidance. Okay, two on the camera. Some of you, there's a lot of inner conflict within yourself. There could be some competition. There could be some fighting, some quarrels. I really feel like this is inner conflict. You don't know which way to go. Or you could be fighting with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. The Four of Swords, once again. Um, rest. Relaxation. Get your health back in check. Some of you are fighting to have better health. Ace of Cups. King of Swords. Nice. Hmm. Some of you might have taken a break from an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is typically Libra or Aquarius. King of Swords. It could be Gemini. Um, but maybe you want either reconciliation you want to reignite the love that that stands between you two but you're also um oh you're also doing some battle with the person that you're currently with or there's indecision to go back to air sign and you're currently on a break from them 
All right, we're gonna pull butterfly oracle card. I'm gonna get on out of here. All right, what are the messages for Virgo? Three support cards for Virgo. Messages of love and light. Three support. And what comes out? Support. Nice. Um, you can find support, of course, through friends, through family, through engaging um, with support groups, finding, you know, specific support groups for your, your specific situation. Um, support is here. Uh, you have to want it, though. And you have to let people in and let them know that, you know, you, you need help in a certain situation. Realizations and epiphanies. Heavenly signs. Nice. Uh, temperance was there. Spirit is speaking to you. Realizations and epiphanies. You feel something in your soul. You feel it in your heart, in your mind. Whether it's question of, is someone... Oh, and this popped out out of the deck for you when I was shuffling off camera. Forgiveness. You need to either ask for forgiveness or someone is wanting you to forgive them. But forgiveness needs to happen in some dynamic because you're harboring and holding on to something or vice versa. And if you can't get past it, then you can't get past it. It's just that. And you might have to be like the death card, just let it die. Um, so yeah, that's that. Realizations and epiphanies. You feel something down in your spirit. You know it, you know it, you know it. Whatever it is, you know. You know it. But you just are not enact, you're not acting on it. Or you're not, maybe that's why the tower was there. The tower had to come in and help shift the energy, you know. You know whatever it is you're, you're concerned about. If someone's cheating on you. If someone is uh, being deceitful um, in any manner. The spirit is working with you. Heavenly signs. Spirit is working with you. Heaven. Heavenly signs. Um, giving messages of realizations and epiphanies to you and for you by way of heavenly signs. You see it, you know it is there. All right, so if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. I've got an announcement coming up pretty soon that will hopefully uh, bring a lot of interaction and um, fun to the channel. So stay tuned for that. You can follow me on Instago. Ask a question or two there. Follow me on Instagram. My handles are below. Uh, choose to fund the page by clicking the GoFundMe link. Any donation goes back into the channel, so it's much appreciated. Uh, uh, email me. My email address is below if you would like to request a reading. The prices are below. Everything is below. Just look in the description box, all right? So take care, Virgos. Remember, when in doubt, pray. I'm praying for you guys, so pray for me as well. I will talk to you pretty soon, probably in May, or I'll try to do a quick fun spread uh before may all right take care